Isambard Kingdom Brunel, a giant of the Industrial Revolution, bent steel to his will to create wonders the world had never seen. The ancient Egyptians utilized stone to create marvels which stand till today, whereas the Greeks astounded the world with marvel. All, however, failed to use the ultimate material, lollipop sticks. This week we're going to use our engineering skills and look at materials to make a bridge from lollipop sticks. It's pretty simple, all you need are lollipop sticks and glue. Wood glue is the best, obviously. Other things can help, for example clothes pegs. However, if, like me, you'll get in trouble by getting glue all over your clothes pegs, uh, try using masking tape instead. Make sure you lay down paper first so you don't make a mess. But how are we going to make it? What shapes are we going to use? Why don't you stop and discuss this before we continue? When engineers build large structures such as bridges or buildings, they have to take into account how forces such as gravity, compression, tension and torque will act on the building materials. Gravity is constantly working to pull materials, especially heavy ones, towards Earth. Bridges and buildings usually have their frames built in as a truss, a series of beams that are connected at the ends. The engineer's goal is to design a truss that will slightly flex, but not bend or break, even with strong forces acting on it. The triangle shape is one of the strongest shapes in engineering. It's to do something called degrees of freedom. If you look at a square and push the top of it, it would be quite easy to bend it over, becoming a parallelogram. Triangles, however, have zero degrees of freedom, so they're incredibly sturdy. We're therefore going to build our bridge based on triangles. Start with the two sides. Glue the triangles together until you've connected five triangles together, or more. Then complete the process for the other side. Once they've dried, you connect the two sides together with horizontal struts. If you notice, the horizontal struts don't have triangles built into them, so if you want them to be stronger, you should glue them together with diagonal slats. Once it's dry, why don't you try and test its strength? Hang buckets from the bottom and fill it up with sand or other weights. How strong is your bridge? Once you've finished your experiment, here are some ideas of other things to think about. Could you use the skills you've learned today to create a building or a structure to inspire the residents of your local area? What do you think people need, and what do you think they'll like to look at? Look at the bridges made by some of the famous engineers of the past. For example, Isambard King de Brunel. Did they use any of the same techniques as you, or were there any differences? What are the properties of the materials used for bridges that make them so good? What are the weaknesses? I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Remember there are worksheets to, to download below, and whilst you're there, why don't you like and subscribe? Catch you next week.